Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our tutorial class, class number three. Today, we are going to talk about how we can quantify total number of uh, telescopic different types that will be required in a particular region. Don't forget this type. This is what I mean by some potato skies. Okay, skies I'm talking about. Don't give the uh, uh, modern looking skies. So, how you can be able to uh, calculate this? So, uh, I've come to understand that some people find it difficult to calculate it, and as a client as well, you can be able to do all these things on your own. You know, some people want to do it at the end of the day, it might not be. Okay, you might not start for the job. If you have a shortage of a minimal literage that will now put the client in the situation you never expected. So it's better to know how you can be able to calculate the areas of their roofing to enable you know the quantity of roofing tax they are going to buy for it. Now I'm going to I, I, I'm going to use the drawing on the board this plan on the board to tell us how you can be able to quantify this material, this particular different sheet, this particular one, because we have other different sheets and new different sheets. Maybe in our next class, we can talk about that in our class, we can talk about that in our, in our subsequent classes. We can now talk about those. But now, let's talk about this two important things, guys, which is in book now. The majority of people are using it now, just by that expensive but it has a 15 years guarantee so it's the best so i advise you go for it now after building your house let's assume that this is your roof plant the skeletal work has been done it's many for you to recover it with roofing sheets now for you to determine the quantity of stone coated roof tiles that will be required to roof your house this is how it is now, when you look at this roof plan now, you will understand that in this roof plan, you have different plane shapes. You have triangle here, you have trapezium here, then uh, uh, maybe you have triangular trapezium. When you want to the roof, then you only have parallelogram as well. Maybe in this one, can get a parallelogram while you are doing the calculation, you can get a parallelogram. These are three major, these are three major shapes you get in the roof. The most common of them are triangle and trapezium. So most of the big roofs, most of the big roofs, uh, I'm not talking about double roofs, or well, is a big roof no? Most of them, the major shape you have a uh, triangle and uh, trapezium. Now, in our Primary, uh, primary school level, when it's primary school level, we are taught how to calculate areas of plane shapes. All these things are important, but during those days, maybe some people might think that how, what, what is the importance of all these things. But you can apply all these things in our daily lives, like in this in the case of this roof now, you can apply those things. Now, let's go now. Let's start with this, this triangle. Now, how do we do it? First, I know that the area of a triangle area you know that area of a of a triangle is equal to half base times height this is the area of a triangle half base times height now if you want to measure this you must you must you have to go with a tape you climb up you measure the base. This particular triangle, let's bring it out. Let's bring it out. You have this. And this base is 12 meters. This is the base. Then the height you are talking about is this. This is the height. You have to measure the height from 
top of from here, top of the roof to the base. That's how you cannot be able to provide the height. Assuming that you have measured the height, and the height gives you this thing, the height gives you 10 meters. Now, for you to know the quantity of so called ties that will go to, to cover this area, you have to apply this formula. How base has height. Then here, our base is half area of a triangle. Our base here is what? 12 meters. Then times our height is 10 meters. Then when you do this, you have what? 12 times 10 give us area. Give us half times one minute twenty. Ten times two. Let me check. Ten times two. That should be one minute. Ten times two. That give us one minute. Then, as you can see, this you can take care of this. The area of that triangle will now give us what? 120 over 2, which is what? 60 meters square. Meaning that the area of that particular triangle is equal to 60 meters square. Now, what will cover this particular triangle is 60 meters square? For instance, if you, in a, in a, in, for instance, I don't think we didn't have, have this particular, this particular shape. And even you have to do plan like this. All you need to do, you don't need to go and start doing this one as well. All you need to do is just to multiply times two, which will give you one to it. But since we have this, like this, meaning that we are still going to do some calculations here, we'll get this one. So for this one, the area is what, 60 meters, 60 square meters. Then let's go to this uh, translation for us to get the area of this translation. This is exactly how you to get it, 60 meters square. That's what this particular portion of the roof will take, 60 meters square. That's the area. So let's check for, for the tra trapezium. Now we know that uh, in getting the trapezium, you have to know the area of a uh, trapezium. Area of a trapezium. Area of a trapezium. Is, uh, is equal to half the sum of parallel sides times perpendicular height. Then let's bring that trapezium here. This trapezium. Now this is the trapezium. This is the, the parallel size. In, this is the entire like parallel. That's A and B. You can take this as A. You can take this as B. You take this as A. Then the height, you, 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 you have properly measure the height. And the height will also have, will equivalently give you the same height of this triangle. They must, must be the same. They must be the same. So the same height here will now be 10 meters. Now, for you to get this area of this particular side now, what you ought to do is this area of this trapezium is equal to half, meaning that some of the parallel size, 6 plus 18 by 10. Then as we continue, we have This to give us 24 into 10. Going for the half, half into B4, which will now give us uh, 240 over 2. Then we divide half 120 meter square. That is the area of the trapezium. Of that trapezium is 120 
Christ as well. That's what this time will take. Assuming as well that you don't have this shape in your this recession or projection of belief in here, it's plain. All you want to do, for instance, when you let you have a belief like this, when you have a belief, assume that this is like this now. Just this, you haven't gotten this multiplied by two, you haven't gotten this multiplied by two. You add the two together. Add the, uh, you, have, you got uh, 60 here. Yeah? 60 for this, give you 180 square meters. I will be able to take care of this, uh, of this dimension. With uh, 12 meters by, by 18 meters. Now, this is uh, triangular, triangle and trapezium. Now, when you go, and this uh, roof now, you see smaller triangle. You see, apply the same thing. You see, apply the same method of calculating the triangle. In those small, small triangles. You see, apply the same method. All you need to do is just to measure the base of the triangle, to measure the height. You calculate it, you have this. When you come to this, you come to this, and you probably do the same thing. You come to this, you probably do the same thing. You take the base, measure the height, you calculate it. Now, some people ask asking, what about this shape now? And this gutter here, this is a gutter, has kind of altered the shape of this uh, trapezium. How do you go about it? There are many ways you can go about it. You can be able to, you know, put them in different, for instance, if you take this thing like, you can assume this thing coming to this point. You can assume it's coming to that point. Uh, don't mind me, but when you are when you are doing a, the normal drawing, everything has to be the dimensions, accurate dimensions. Here and here has to be equal. If you are looking at us, here and here has to be equal. And when you look at this shape, now this shape, uh, it's not a trapezium, it's not a triangle. This shape forms a parallelogram. This is a parallelogram. Now you can only use the area of a parallelogram to do what? Calculate the that the shape has. You have something like this. This is it. Then, a parallelogram, you have a, let's say, this, this. Then you measure, area of a parallelogram, let's say, this is our base, this is our height, height. Area, sorry, area of a parallelogram. The short form of a parallelogram. Area of a parallelogram will give you a equal to base times height. Then you have to assume a measure. Measure the base. The base of this parallelogram is this. In this triangle, that is the, the hip of this triangle. You measure it from there. In the other, you measure it. Assuming that this base is uh, assuming this base is uh, 11 meters. Let's assume the base is 11 meters. Let's assume it's 11 meters. Then the height. The height is uh, doing this. Assuming that the height is uh, 8 meters. All you need to be just area is equal to 11 times 8, which will give us 8 meters. That will be for this color. Okay. Then you come to this one as well. This, uh, this one now forms. Trapezium. You use the formula for trapezium. That's all. At the end of the day, you add all of them together. Then you know you now get to a uh, roofing company, all these uh, companies that sell uh, roofing sheets. You tell them look at the total number of I need uh, so so numbers. Let's assume after adding all of them, let's assume you have uh, 555 meters square. You go there and tell them that you need uh, 555 meters square. You bring it out and give to you and you take. So this is a simple way to calculate the area of, uh, uh, of uh, roofing, roof, uh, roofing coated ties. This particular sheet, this is what I'm talking about. For metro ties, and, uh, for uh, metro ties here, yeah. for uh, which is uh, aluminium, all those ones. For those ones, I can tell you later in a subsequent class how you can be able to calculate those ones. Same, same methods, but considering how those ones are being corrugated, how they are being cut, because they are not like this. Those are very good to company, which I mentioned which, which you might have done in, in, in the site. You take it to the company, they put it according to the measurement. I will tell you that, that later. So you have to subscribe and follow us on the comment section. You ask questions. If you have any questions, on the comment section, you ask questions, subscribe, follow, and share for our subsequent classes. Thank you.